One of the keys to React is to make things as small as possible. So this allows us to talk about the concept of props. So what props are, are just little parameters that you add to any given component, which we'll see in just a moment. So if you look at the post list here, we returned a div tag with some items inside of it. Those items were related to the post. If anything, these are the post detail items themselves. So what if we actually changed how this was rendered into using a subcomponent inside of the post list? Well, that's what we're gonna do. So inside of the posts folder, we're gonna make post detail.js and go ahead and import all of the component related things. One of the questions is that you might see this yellow and why is the coloring off? Well, we just need to change our syntax to TypeScript. So again, um, this is a sublime related thing. Just look for a set syntax of TypeScript React and that's command shift P to get there. And that's, that'll give us this. Okay, cool. So now we have this post detail page. We wanna change all of the component related class names to post, post detail, okay? Um, and I want to actually return this information, just this information, that's it. So let's go ahead and cut this out. We'll actually cut the div, including the div, and put that in as our return statement. So we save it and the standard library and linter is bringing it back. This is now what we want our post detail to look like. But where is this information coming from? Like how do we actually see this information? This is what props do. If we go to post list, I can actually use this item. So we go ahead and import post detail from dot slash post detail. So relative import, we just do dot slash, it's in the same directory. So we can import it just like that. And now this return statement can return this post detail using a prop. Again, we're gonna set this syntax to TypeScript. So post detail, here's the component itself. We would, you know, have it look like that. That's just a standard component that's rendered, much like what we did with post list, the exact same thing as a matter of fact, because they're all components. This is something that's really cool. So this is where we can actually add a property or a props onto this post detail. In other words, I can actually just say post equals to curly brackets, post detail, right? So I can set the post equal to the iterated item. Now, if we call this, you know, item, then you would change this to item. It's that simple. Okay, cool. So since I've got this, that means that in my post detail, I can reference those properties. There's a few different ways on how we can go about doing this, which we'll talk about later. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say const and we'll call it post equals to this dot props. And that's it. So again, this item right here is the property itself. So if I call this post item, I would come back into this post detail and call this post item. Okay, let's refresh it back to being post. Um, another way to write this just for a moment is by saying const post equals this dot props post. That is another, those are two ways of how to write the exact same thing. Um, but I'm gonna leave it with this one where it maps automatically to that same name in that property. So it maps to that name, goes to this name. Cool. If that's not clear, it will be later. Just work with us and you'll see. Okay, so this right here is actually the detail item. So I can replace those with that. So it's, it's doing the exact same thing it was before, but now it's cleaner. The code is a lot cleaner because the actual detail item is in here. Now this is absolutely a habit you wanna get into is you wanna break down your components to absolutely their smallest part. Now this component right here might have other properties you want on it. And you can do that. You can add new props if you'd like. But by and large, this is really good for what it is. And this is how you do that. There is one extra thing that I would wanna put here and that is the key value. So the key value is just related to Angular itself, which what I'm doing here is I'm putting curly brackets, back ticks, and then I'll just say the post list key, and I'm gonna use the dollar sign index. So all this did was, hey, put in inside of these curly brackets, let's render out some React code, and it's gonna use this string for some string substitution to use the index that's actually here. Okay, so we save that. 
This is something, the key portion is something you're going to want to do when you use map. Or specifically when you iterate through inside of a React component. So we save that and we refresh in here, look at the JavaScript console. We see that there's a few things that are not defined that we actually still need to get rid of. Um, but of course, this right here is exactly the same because what's rendered hasn't really changed. But now what's nice is if I wanted to just render the detail page or the post detail component, I could, like I could use this elsewhere as long as I have the post as a property. So that means that I don't have to keep it in here all the time or going forward in the future. It doesn't have to just live there. Something that's really, really nice with that. Okay, cool. So we also saw some errors in the JavaScript console with command option J, we'll open that up. We see these two things here, right? We're getting some errors there and we're also getting some errors in this terminal. These are not actually errors, they're just warnings of like, hey, we should get rid of things that we don't need. Something else that's really, really nice about working in React is it will tell you when you don't need something. In the post detail, it's giving us this post data. We don't need it. So what do you do? You just get rid of it. In app.js, we don't use logo or we really don't use the CSS either, but let's go ahead and get rid of that as well. So we save that. Now we have no errors and our app is looking great. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to get everything. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.